There are a lot of helmets in Elden Ring, and a lot of helmets that give you passive or stat boosting effects. So we've rounded up what we think are the best ones for boosting your stats so you can improve your character. And if you do find this video helpful, make sure to support it by clicking like and subscribing down below, and let us know in the comments if we've missed any helmets that you think are definitely worth using. I'm Paradise Central, so let's start it off with the Int Boosting Helmet option, which is going to be the Twin Sage Glintstone Crown. This is one of the Glintstone Crowns bestowed upon the Rhea Lucaria Scholars, whose pursuits were deemed worthy. It greatly raises intelligence to the detriment of HP and stamina, and the Scholars of the Twin Sage Conspectus were the elites of the Academy and were permitted to study and excel in sorceries of all kinds. So you're going to get six intelligence from this, which is a huge boost at the cost, of course, of reduced health and stamina by about 9%. Depending on your build, the helmets that raise your sorcery damage might be better, such as the Snow Witch's Hat, but for pure int, which is what this video is about for boosting your stats, this helmet will be very good. To get this, you need to go to the Rhea Lucaria Academy in Leonia of the Lakes on the second floor balcony of the Church of the Cuckoo. It will be dropped by a crystallized crab that you need to kill. You'll need to do some parkour to get onto the rooftops until you reach the church area where you want to check around the scaffolding where you'll find the crystallized crab, kill it, and you'll get the helmet for yourself. Now let's talk about boosting faith, and we're going to go with the Halog Tree Knight Helm. This is a helmet worn by the knights sworn to the Halog Tree, graced by a crown of unalloyed gold. It increases faith by two and has no downside to it, and this is about as high as you're going to get for putting faith on your helmet. And this helmet has, like I said, no drawbacks, and even weighs less than the Imp Head Corpse helmet that also gives plus two faith. As before, depending on your build, the helmets that raise your incantation damage might be better, like the Radiant Gold Mask, but for the pure faith stat increase, the Halog Tree Knight's helmet is absolutely fantastic. And you'll find it in the Brace of the Halog Tree area, looted from a corpse located near the inner wall site of Grace. It's in a room that's on top of a ladder, which is basically opposite the Grace Point, and you'll find it there. Next, we'll talk about boosting our mind stat with the Preceptor's Big Hat. This is a large hat with the movements of the stars drawn on the inside of the brim, worn by the magic preceptors who serve the Carrion Royals. It increases our mind at the detriment of stamina. Glintstone sorcerers are the descendants of astrologers, a fact that the Carrions remain aware of, even if their fate has been long severed from the stars. So there's some really nice lore on this one. Of course, we get plus three mind with this, but we do lose about 9% stamina. This is found on Selvius's body in Selvius's Rise after reaching the end of the Rani questline, which we have a video already on the channel going on this, which will be in the description down below. Moving on to strength now, and one of my favourites, the Omen Smirk Mask. This mask is long with hideous, twisted horns worn by the Omen Killers. It increases our strength and it bears the smirking face of an elder, twisted in wicked delight. This visage is carved in the image of the evil spirits that haunt the Omen, so it's all tied in with the Omens and there's a lot of interesting lore to do with them. This of course increases our strength by 2, which is the same strength bonus of the Imp Head Fanged Helmet, but it weighs a lot less and doesn't have too much less defence and I like the way it looks so I would recommend this one. You can get this by defeating a lesser omen killer outside of the lower capital church site of grace in Lindal, the royal capital. And we'll move on to another one of my favourites next for boosting decks. It's the Akina Mask. I think that's how you say the name of it. It's a wooden mask that depicts an old man baring his teeth. The source of the sobriquet of the great swordman of the Land of Reeds. It raises decks but lowers focus. The more he sharpened his mind, the more the absurdities of the world came into stark relief. And so Akina renounced it all and rose to a higher plane where there was only himself, his katana and his mastery. And before long, Okina became a demon of a swordsman. Really cool flavour in the description of this one. And it gives us plus three dexterity, but does reduce our focus by about 40. I would say that the focus loss is more preferable to the HP loss of the Lazuli Glintstone Crown that also gives dex. So I would recommend this one, and I do like the lore and how it looks. This is dropped by the Bloody Finger Okina Invader in the mountaintops of the Giants area. The next for boosting Arcane, it's either the Albanoric Mask or the Silver Tear Mask. The Silver Tear Mask increases Arcane by a massive plus 8, but it also reduces your attack power by about 5%, whereas the Albanoric Mask gives you 4 Arcane, which is half that of the Silver Mask, but only reduces the recovery effects of the Flask of Crimson Tears, which I would recommend over a 5% attack loss personally, but it does depend on the specifics of your Arcane build. You can find the Albanoric Mask in the Volcano Manor near the Guest Hall Grace Point, 
you need to get on the roof of the building and jump down to a room below that has an omen killer inside of it where the mass will be on the floor for you to loot. We'll move on to boosting endurance next with the imp head wolf. This is a head covering made from the largely unaltered head of an impish golem resembling a wolf it holds trace amounts of lupine endurance. This gives us plus two to our endurance but does weigh quite a lot being an imp head helmet. There is another helmet that gives plus two endurance and imp but does lower your fp. However, I think if you're focusing on endurance, you will probably have the extra weight to wear this imp head and benefit from the increased defenses that it gives you. And it drops from the forked greatsword wielding wolf headed imps in catacombs. It is specifically the ones with the wolf head looking helmet. So make sure to look out for them. And then for boosting vigor, we have the crimson hood, a hooded cloak of vivid crimson worn by expatriates royalty. It increases your vigor and such cloaks were gifted to those who departed on journeys without specific orders to far away lands from which they would never return. In other words, the gift of a cloak made it easier for undesirables to be sent on their way, and Rodrika never once saw the guidance of grace. A little sad bit of flavour there with Rodrika. It only gives us plus one vigour, but you don't really have any other options for vigour helmets, so this will be the best for you. And it is found in Stormvale Castle, in a room adjacent to the grafted Scion mini-boss, and you will have to have completed Rodrika's questline for this one. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to show support by clicking like down below and subscribing for the other videos on the channel. Again, let us know in the comments if we missed any stat boosting helmets that you think are worth using. There are a lot of other good helmets that give good passive effects, like of course the white mask if you're using a blood build, but this video is all about stat boosting helmets, so we thought we'd round up the ones that give you the most stats if that's what you're going for for your build. We have videos on the screen now that we think you will really enjoy if you found this video helpful, so definitely don't miss out on them and click on the videos on screen now.